When a new character gets revealed in the Beyblade X anime, they always have a Beyblade to battle by their side. Whether it's an attack, defense, stamina, or balance type, they usually also have a unique feature or unique thing special to them. It could be super speeds, insane defense, maybe using the extreme dash more than once too. Just barely into 20 episodes of the Beyblade X anime, we've already had so many product releases. So in today's video, I'm going to be recommending some Beyblades to buy if you're willing to spend $100. Let's get into this video. So for the first Beyblade I recommend, it is going to be Leon Claw. Now, you can get Leon Claw for $26.97 Canadian dollars, but you can also get it for $19.99 American dollars. So the first reason why I personally think Leon Claw is a very good Beyblade and very valuable is because one of the reasons is the main bit. The bit Leon Claw comes with is point, and it's honestly kind of like a mix between Phoenix Wing, Drawn Dagger, Drawn Sword, and even Shark Edge in a sense. And this is because Leon Claw's bit is just a flat surface with a little ball in the middle. Now, notice how all the Beyblades I listed were all attack types. This is all oriented into one balance type bit, and I actually think that this is probably one of the best bits in Beyblade X. Because it has the ball in the middle, sometimes if you launch it light enough, it'll actually defend. But then if you launch it harder, it'll actually go and attack. This is the double motion gimmick that comes with Leon Claw, and this almost wins half of the time, if not 70% of the battles that it faces. Now, like many others, for Leon Claw's Ratchet, it's kind of nothing too special. And it's honestly just because the time it was released. The time that Leon Claw was released, we basically just had ratchets like 480 and 380 and 360. So it was nothing too crazy like how Phoenix Wing has 960. The ratchet here was 560 and there's not too much to say about it. There are 5 points so it is easier to put on to Leon Claw. And honestly, the color scheme is pretty cool. But now, for the last part that Leon Claw has to offer, it is the blade, which I think is just absolutely outstanding and one of the most unique blades I've seen in Beyblade X. Because honestly, we've seen a couple things now. Pretty much, we've seen Drawn Dagger have Drawn Sword's kind of avatar and stuff, and we've had Hell's Chain have Hell's Scythe's avatar and stuff, except it was kind of like a different variant. With Leon Claw, we've only seen one lion, and the lion motif in the middle looks really, really good. Also, the layer actually expresses these kind of like these claws representing the lion. As you can see here on the blade, you see all these cutouts and edges on the blade. Now, these are actually the three claws of the lion, and you can actually see it five times as there's five different ones featured on this blade. Now, the only thing drawing back Leon Claw from being a very, very good and stable Beyblade is the fact that it's not that heavy, which I think it would be better if it was a little bit heavier, but overall, it's still a very valuable Beyblade to buy. The next Beyblade I'm going to be talking about is a pretty underrated one. It is Wizard Arrow, coming in at the same price as Leon Claw, $26.97 in Canadian dollars, but then $19.99 in American dollars. Now you guys might be surprised that I'm talking about Wizard Arrow instead of literally any other Beyblade X Beyblade that has been released. Especially because this one was released at the very start of the opening of Beyblade X. Honestly guys, it's mainly because of the bit, which is Ball. Guys, the Ball bit has won so many matches for me and it's literally able to outlast any of your opponents. It doesn't matter if it's Viper Tail, Rhino Horn, Leon Claw, Drawn Dagger, Shark Edge, any Beyblade. This Beyblade can literally outlast anybody because of this one bit. It's very, very stable, and because it's just a simple ball, it actually makes it very, very overpowered. 
As a Wizard Arrow's blade, it doesn't matter what ratchet you use, this Beyblade will still be able to outlast anybody as long as you keep the blade and the bit. And it's honestly because the blade actually has these weird designs. So on the top right of Wizard Arrow, you actually see a thicker barrier. But then as you go down on the right side of the blade, it gets a little bit thinner. Then it's the exact opposite on the left side. Starting at the top it's thinner, but then coming down it's thicker. This allows Wizard Arrow to have insane stamina and weight on the whole entire blade, evenly distributing it from top to bottom. And that is why the Wizard Arrow is able to take so many hits and outlast their opponent so many times. And now for the final Beyblade we are going to be looking at in this video, it is going to be Drawn Dagger. Coming in at a price of $39.11 in Canadian dollars, but then $28.99 in American dollars. The actual main reason that I think Drawn Dagger is probably the most valuable thing that you can buy in Beyblade X right now is because although it's pricey, you get Shark Edge 360 flat. Now, just for a quick recap, Shark Edge is a random booster which you had a very, very, very slim chance of actually getting and the packet price for that one is $15.99. And since you have such a low chance of getting that, not only do you get the blade of Shark Edge, you almost get the exact combo too. The exact combo for Shark Edge originally is Shark Edge 360 low flat in a dimmed down purple color, but this one you get Shark Edge 380 flat in a green color. So pretty much the only difference is the color and the bit. And the bit doesn't even make a difference because it's still flat too. So in this set, not only are you getting Drawn Dagger, but you're also getting a self shark edge right there as well. Now besides the fact that you actually get a rare Beyblade, you also get the Drawn Dagger Beyblade, which is another variant or the evolution to Drawn Sword. You're basically just going from a three bladed wing design to a six bladed wing design. And for Drawn Dagger, it focuses on barrage attacks so attacking more than once or probably more than four times each battle with a medium hard hit. Unlike Drawn Sword where it's just coming in maybe three to four times, maybe even twice for one huge attack at one time, smash attacking, Drawn Dagger focuses on having more endurance in their attacks than more of a heavier hit. Now the rush bit that comes with Drawn Dagger though is very different because it has shorter teeth or less teeth than any other Beyblade X Beyblade, which technically does mean that it could go faster on the extreme line since it doesn't have to tag along more at one time. So all in all, Drawn Dagger and Shark Edge in one package is probably what I think the most valuable thing that you can get as of right now. And that is going to be it for today's Beyblade video. Please let me know what you thought of these recommendations and this whole entire video in the comment section below. So with that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Beyblade video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like. Definitely don't forget to turn on that notification bell. And with that guys, I'll see you in the next Beyblade video. Bye guys!